to part two of our school, back to school Q&A. Um, just so you guys know, a little recap. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, I'm sick. My voice sounds like this. And if you haven't seen part one, go watch part one after you're done with this. But um, yeah, so let's get into part two. Uh, let's get it. Been in school for about a month now. <laughs> Which class is the hardest to get to, i.e. can you get there on time? Oh. Mm. Uh, it's not a class. I didn't know sorry, you were, okay. It's not a class for me. It's um, going to caf the cafeteria f during first block. First, <coughs> going to the cafeteria during first block because I always eat lunch first block um, for our, like plus period extra time thing. Um, and I have to go from stat, which is all the way, if the school's like, psh, stat's like all the way back here. I gotta walk here and walk all the way down this long hallway. There's always traffic here because we have like a million kids at our school and like a we have freshmen. so much traffic at our oh school. Oh my it gosh, is so in funny. the hallways, it's terrible. And then I have to get to the cafeteria. And then I sometimes I get a spot, but I'm like, mm, care. So I take someone else's backpack off the bench, throw it off the bench, and then just sit there. Yes. Yeah. Is it mine? It's a, I gotta do what you gotta do. It's an eat or be eaten. Um, it's a make or miss league. It's a. I think. Predator prey. My farthest. I like. All my classes are pretty easy to get to. Like, I get to all my classes pretty fast. Except the one that I think takes me the longest is probably um, art to English, actually. Because I have to go down this hallway, all the way down this hallway, all the way down this hallway up the stairs and then halfway back. It might just be the route I decide to take, but I always well, take the same one because me and Bella always walk together, so. That's not so terrible. As, my... as long as you get along, like as long as you go from the art hallway over to the right hallway. I don't, I go to the left hallway. You should go to the right hallway and then take And then go straight and, and then go up. And then I know, just go up this but right there's side. always traffic in that corner, like, because I have to walk. For me, it's not really class to class, it's getting out of school, so, my sixth period is the one that's on the A, 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 A day, A, B, D day, <laughs> A day, B day kind of switch. So when I have gym, it's literally all the way over here. And, the, and our gym teacher calls them late sometimes. So it's like, get changed really fast. Go to the locker. Get all your stuff. That's, or, the, not, that's not your like locker, the most stressful thing the gym ever. Locker. Exactly. exactly. So you got to get all your stuff from the gym lockers and then zoom out. And there's so much traffic getting out of like the gym hallway. And oh, go getting down, out of the gym hallway down. is traffic. I know. And then you gotta go down, go, go, and then we stop at Tanner's locker because Tanner gets his hat. <laughs> and then we go in, <laughs> screw it through, go all the way through the cafeteria, and then out, and then right near the office kind of library space, and then there's the doors. It's so crowded right there. And then you're out. And then I always run in my bus because I'm like, no way, don't leave. Even though I get on the bus like three minutes before it leaves. Um, but I'm always just so stressed. So. Have you been late to school or classes this year? I have actually, I was late to English. English has literally been the answer to every single one of these questions for me. Um, I've been late to school once. And so like with cheer, Tight, well, with sports, fall sports, and all other school sports, if you're late to school, you can't practice. Um, so I can't be late to school, so I try to be in school on time every day. But um, one time I was late because I was so sick and I got zero sleep, and I it was like two days ago, so I went <laughs> into school late. But um, I, and then one time I was late to English, but I had a note, so technically I was late. So I... They were both excused latenesses. The thing is, I have this <coughs> science teacher, Miss C, the homie. Miss Crip. Love her. Oh my gosh, you have her? Miss C, yeah. I love her so much. Neither so, that. in her class, she's the only person that, or she's the only teacher that does this. Love her, but she does this. The bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. I hate that, bro. Table one. Table six. Oh, that's so Table annoying. three. I'm like, are you kidding me? And everyone has to be seated with their stuff, sitting down for the table to get this miss. And then you go out, and then there's like three classes that run out, rush out of this one hallway. And this, and then <coughs> all night, and the stairwell's right here. There's all the kids coming out the stairwell. So much traffic there. So it, it's not a far walk to history or social studies, 
But I was late one time because it was just crazy. <clears throat> Anyway, that's kind of it. But when you're late to a class, what do they do? Because we get sent to the tardy table. Oh, <laughs> tardy table. No, like, I'm, it's an actual it thing. Like a, it feels like a, oh, which feels like. No, it was Mr. S. Don't worry, he was cool. He was like, Donnelly. I was like, sorry, man. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Have I been late? No. But I was almost late to my first period. Let me set the scene. I park in a park across the street from the school. Wait, really? You don't get junior parking? No. no, it's only senior parking. Oh, right, right, right. My friends, who are seniors, come in after. I have them drive me, because they're like coming the same route. So I have them drive me from the park to the school sometimes. I text Will, I'm like, Will, can you uh, give me a scoop? He's like, yeah, sure. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. School starts at 7.30. It's 7.25. He texts me. We're not going to make it. We're running late. I'm like, bruh. So I just... Strap on my backpack. Did you run? Stretch, and I just sprint all the way into school. I get, I have to run all the way across the road, through the woods. No way you ran. Past another school, across the senior parking lot, across the faculty parking lot, down the hallway, up the stairs, and down the other hallway. I made it. In five minutes. It might have been seven. It was like 720 something. Guys, that's that's, that's actually crazy. Because it takes us a long time. <laughs> and then Fen just walks in like, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So that was right. the time I was hey, hey, it's my question. <clears throat> Are you happy with your grades so far? Mm. Let's make this a fast no. answer. I'll just say yes or no. Yes or no answer, go. No. Bofa. No. Next question. <laughs> yes. I'll say yes, I'll say yes, actually. Both. Both. Where and when do you eat lunch? I eat lunch in the cafeteria every day, first block. Um, yeah, that's one. So about... Um, bruh. I don't really eat lunch at a certain time. I just kind of snack throughout the whole day. Okay, so we don't eat at lunch. At 18. Our school, we don't eat lunch. In eighth grade, you don't eat lunch, we eat brunch. Lunch is at 11 something. Right. We get to school. That's kind of like us because we get, we, Broom Block starts at like 11 or 10, 10 18. 18. The thing is, at 10 18. So we you guys eat breakfast at like 6. You guys oh, are already at school. Right. I get to school at 9 25 or something and I eat breakfast at about 8 40. So I go and then, no, what, I think lunch is at like 10 45 or something like that. And no one's hungry. So everyone eats lunch at around th third or fourth period. But luckily, my third and fourth period teachers are both chill. So I just snack. Uh, also, a lot of trades go on third and fourth period. Mm -hmm. uh, food trades. trades. Imagine food trades. Dude, food trades are fun. Do you guys see a word in one? Yeah. track of milk goes for high price. One piece of advice to a new student at your school. Mm. If you guys know, you can go first. <laughs> Don't walk in the crowded hallways. Do I mean the crowded stairwells? Avoid do them. Ever, Go in if the you're side at the stairwells. School, on the right, do not walk down that hallway. Walk down the left hallway if you're looking from the front to the back. The Go on the stairwells all the way to the side to the school, like on the ends of the school. There's no one there ever. I, I mean, there is, but like, um, only like the kids in there. Really. Middle school's kind of chill. You don't really need, like, I don't know. But just find a friend group and stay with them. You can friend group pop a little bit or be in like two friend groups, but like. Just be chill. Don't and don't just make any don't make anyone mad the second you get there because everyone's gonna know you for that. And especially if they're relevant, don't make anyone relevant mad. Oh anyway, my gosh! Anyway, Brian, you're a little mean boy. I'm not a little mean boy. What's the mean most boys. fun part about school? I would say school events like pep rally and football games and cheering and school sports are definitely like really really fun. Um, funnest part about school is. Uh, when you're in the chill teacher's classes with your friends, that's the best part. Uh, and we had this little World Cup uh, yesterday. Uh, I wasn't here on the sign update, so I didn't get in. But um, two or two of my or my friends made up like two different teams: the white team and the black team. And the black team ended up winning. And then we all, all the friend, uh, all of their friends just rushed the field, and we all started like jumping up and down. And the teachers were like, "Go to your lockers!" And then we just started like jumping up and down with them. It was fun. That's uh, it. Yeah, that was yesterday. So. Uh, the most fun part is probably our extra period block because I can't hang out with my friends, and you can just go wherever you want, chill with whoever you want. Yeah. 
Let's yeah. see the people in the hallway. Bro, yeah, that awesome. sounds fun. I'll, I want that. Name one new person you met this year and how you met them. Ah, uh, there's this kid, Graham, and he sits at the first day of school. I sat in my class and it was me. No, maybe it was the second day of school. Yeah, because it was a B day. So I sat down in this class and Molly, you know Molly, she's in this class with me. And so it's Molly, Graham, and then me. Because it's chem, so we sat at like long tables. Molly, so Graham, me. Molly, Graham. And me and Molly were like, hey Molly. And she's like, hi Katie. And we were like, I'm so sorry. And then we were like, he's not my, he's not. <coughs> anyway, so Graham like sits in the middle of us. And so we, be, we decided to become friends with Graham. So now me, Molly, and Graham are really good friends. And we take like a picture every day, like before every class. We like, it's just like, and Graham hates getting pictures taken of him, so it's really funny. And I don't know, he's just a funny, he's a funny kid. So you assault him and take pictures of him, is what I'm hearing. What? So you assault him and take pictures of him. No, funny? he thinks it's funny. Just and then he like, he like watches my TikToks. Like I show him TikToks and I ask him if I should post them. It's really fun. And he's in that class and I made a TikTok with my teacher. He's also in my math class. And he sits behind me in my math class, so. Yeah. I didn't know who it was last year. Uh, this question would probably be aimed more towards them because in middle school, I like the number of people that are that are in middle school. Um, but I don't really pay attention to the sixth and seventh graders. Uh, and I already know everyone in eighth grade, so I haven't really met anyone new. I've made like started bonds with people because I'm in more classes with them, kind of. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, I feel like in middle school, you know people through sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Yeah. And there's not as many kids coming in because it's also smaller amounts. Like, how many kids do you have in your grade? Like, 100? Yeah. Uh -huh. I think, no, I think a little 200? Maybe. Because we have, like, there. there's like 590 kids in my grade. That's so crazy. I could, like, I don't know a high percentage of kids that are in my grade. Yeah, we probably have, like, 200 kids. I haven't grade. met anyone new necessarily, but I actually. I became better friends with some people, but there's also this freshman kid in my guitar class. So every year there's a chosen freshman who does something that I believe he can carry on the legacy of, <coughs> not carry on the legacy, but kind of rise to the occasion. So last year it was Graham, this year, still figuring it out, I'm, but there's a kid in my guitar class who's a kid. What's his name? Can't tell you. Can you tell me? No. Why? Uh, Brian, can I be your chosen freshman next year? You gotta do something. If you do something stupid, dude, you could easily find yourself on the uh, on the annoying on freshman the, list. Exactly. What if I set off a firecracker, two firecrackers from my ears? That would just be done. Think about it. Like you know, how people put pencil in their pencils in their ears. I think about doing that. Time to wrap this video up, guys. Thank you so much. Thank for you guys watching. so much for watching this video. Part two mm. for part one. You can find it right there. No, you can't. Right there. Look in the link in the description. No, you can't. No, find it right there. Or right there. It actually depends on which corner. Or it could so, like, be everywhere. Put either it one. Both. Or it could be right yeah, in the middle of my face both right here. At the same time. It could be all our faces. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't seen part one, click wherever it is and be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Go watch part one. Let us know us. if you want more QA videos, less QA videos, different type of videos. We love the feedback. Thank cool. you for watching. Peace. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.